Hey everyone, it's George, king of the jungle. George always helps others. He's what you call a giver, and he's had quite a day of giving. First, negotiations between the ape and banana councils broke down and got ugly. Real ugly. <laughs> Magnolia needed help with her research. I was studying interspecies dating, but the couples wouldn't stay together. <laughs> so I used an eensy weensy bit of glue. Or maybe more than that. <laughs> yes, sirree, George gives. And gives. And gives some more. And all he gets in return? Pain, agony, and punishment. It's okay, George need break. Oh, George, deal with evil son later. Go away, soundtrack. Not listening. La, 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 George, la, 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 the shaking, the sky, the music. With no time to lose, George and Ape consult the all-knowing Ape Council. With the strike over, we can once again consult the banana bits of fate. What banana bits of fate say? Behold, the future! Is that a skull? It's hard to tell. Wait, it's changing. It's the volcano! That's neat! The volcano! George, defend jungle home! That's helping. Can we try something else? Stop already! George, defeated? Could this be it? Has George given his last? Is it the end of the jungle? George? Esteban passes to Hernandez and goal! What? Just working on my reel? Some of us will need a new job after this episode. George, what? What is it? Get the Steve. Yeah, I thought I heard my beautiful name. I was just exploring the Earth's molten inner Steve when I felt my ego get a little bigger. Eve, jungle needs you. That's flattering, but oh yeah, I'm evil. Weasel heart, remember? Man, I love watching this jungle burn. Ape Council, use mind powers! Yeah. Hey, ungrab the steam! Uh, you can't do this to my perfectly sculpted body! It's a crime against Pilates! George, are you sure about this? Yes, Steve a jerk, but he's smart! and strong, and one of us. Deep down, Steve loved jungle. I hate the jungle. This is wrong. We can't do this. It's our only hope. Do it now. Let's get this party started. George's golden heart flooded Steve's evil body with mushy, warm feelings. Do we have to... Heck no, George will be fine without a heart. Oh wait, he died. Get in there! Phew, <laughs> that's the hardest 30 seconds of surgery I've ever done. Steve feels good! Whoa, 
Look out, Lava Monster. Steve's coming to save the jungle. Sure, Steve was filled with goodness, but George was supercharged by pride, ambition, and weaselly weaselness. George! George! Man, good thing I don't have a license. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of thing they take it away for. The Steve. Maybe you've heard of me? I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> Whoa! Did he just... <laughs> he did it! George saved us all again! In the most awesome way possible. You probably wonder why George saved Jungle from Lava Monster. George! But George wonder why he saved it over and over when all George get in return is Big Bobos. Big Bobos! A good question. George saved Jungle one last time so he can destroy Jungle for himself. That's the weasel talking! Ape tries so hard to talk like human, act like human, but it just smelly ape will not fit in anywhere. Wow! He nailed you! George? But why? So Magnolia, go home and admit she total failure. Stuff that in microscope and write paper on it. Zing! Busted! No, George Free! Ursula <laughs> only want to be animal because Ursula terrible at being person. Oh, what Ursula do? Bite George on face? Use claws? Bite George on face again? Huh? 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 What Ursula gonna do? <laughs> wow, he is on today! Faced with the George Apocalypse, an assembly of all jungle animals gathered to save their home. Our king turns against us. We must activate the self-destruct and purge the jungle with nuclear fire. <laughs> On three, turn and activate. Wait, that's what we're trying to prevent. Your point is? You'll be destroyed too. What? Uh, oh yes, totally. Destroying our home isn't the answer. George saved us all over and over again. It's time for the jungle to save George. I don't know. It sounds like a lot of effort. Our plan's like just one button. Beep, boom. Yeah. We'll take a vote. Uh, democracy's the worst. Who wants to save George? Who wants to blow everything up and start over? It's a tie! We win! Oh, an ape counselor vote is worth ten other animals for some reason. If you don't like the rules, go live in someone else's jungle. The Steve will vote. A king's vote is worth ten times ten. A million. That's not allowed! Steve is a jungle citizen. I may be stronger, smarter, and normally much more evil than any of you. But as George would say, me from jungle too. The Steve votes to save the George. Uh, we never get to nuke anything! Heart or not, we know you're a good person. George, not good. George, bad. Duh. No! <laughs> Nobody wanted to end the season this way, but cue the sappy flashback. And through the incredible power of editing and sappy music, George was reminded just how much he loved his jungle home.
George! Hey, Jerk Weasel! Hey, George's friend! Get him out! George Weasel! George have heart again? It's back where it belongs. But Steve need heart too. I had a spare hippo heart. And as everyone knows, hippos are lawful neutral. Steve can be whoever he wants to be now. The Steve has a lot of learning to do about the Steve. But jungle, me destroy it. It'll regrow. Until then, things will be a little crowded. Who keeps the animals in line? Who makes sure the plants all grow? Who keeps the waters clean? Who keeps this jungle of a jungle running? The Ape Council. Starring Benji, Old Mangaroon, Horse Dad, and Penny. Powers, they've got them. Telepathy, telekinesis, teleporting, teleridiculing. The Ape Council. <laughs> wow, best movie of year. It's the only movie you've seen this year, and it's not even a movie. You're right. It's more of a documentary biopic. Now, enough lounging around. There's work to be done. Oh, no. I sense those awful reptilians are conspiring to overthrow the Ape Council. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't believe it. Oh, no. You must disperse them from this sweet swimming hole immediately for the jungle's sake. Okay, me do. But it's for jungle's sake, Ape. We'll check the refreshing waters and make sure they're safe. <laughs> Success! Uh, animals! Oh. George, you must stop those terrible, terrible rhinoceri! Rhinoceroses? They're consuming all this helpless grass. Uh, but... Does grass not feel love, sadness, ambition? Infuriate the rhinos and lead them away from here! Quickly now! <sighs> right away, sir. <laughs> we must examine the terrible damage those beasts caused! Bring forth the inspection tools! <laughs> Have your eyes gone insane? Those are yellow death boomerangs! <gasps> no, they're bad. Bad, yes, they're bad. Imagine if small children got their paws on those. Imagine! <gasps> what we do? Gather them as quickly as you can, then blend them into a fatal beverage, which we will consume, risking our lives to keep everyone else safe. This is ridiculous. We're not going to be Jungle King and Mentor for much longer if this threat isn't dealt with immediately! The poison! Hey, shall defeat it? <laughs> <laughs> we are victorious! No thanks to your tomfoolery, but I will grant you a chance to redeem yourselves. See those trees? No. Yes. Oh, yes. They must be removed, vanquished, exterminated. Our new Ape Counts Hall will be built there. We'll hold bake sales, computer classes, fun fairs, all for the good of the jungle. Why does it have so many change rooms? Why are you so nosy? Anyway, blah, 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 it's above your pay grade. Now hop to it and clear that land. 
Almost finished. Just two more trees. One. One more tree. Here we go. Please, please don't. <laughs> Who say the holy banana? Shocking mold. That, that can't be. Oh, it's only a sloth. Sorry, moldy sloth. We need to smash down tree with base. You can't. He really can. It's a gift. I've hung from this tree for a thousand years, and I can never let go. Here, me help. Wow, Moldy Sloth really stuck. It's okay. George talked to Council. He's sure they understand. What? So Sloth there for very long time, he's stuck. So maybe we may call somewhere else. Oh, he's stuck? He no wanna move? Do you want the jungle to go hungry? Hungry for computer classes? No. And we're already paying the contractors. No. Please. <sighs> I'll go get a sloth wrench. You want baby animals not have fun fairs and bake sales? If I let go, they won't have anything except gravy. <laughs> Sound like you say gravy. I did. Oh. What? Come closer. 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 <laughs> <laughs> One thousand years ago, a too smart for his own good ape found something mysterious. Little did he know it was a gateway. A gateway to a dimension of terrible evil and gravy. Finally free, the evil gravy threatened to devour the jungle. Seven sloth heroes bounded together to battle the gravy. But it could not be defeated, only contained through the power of hugs. Hundreds of years passed, and now I'm the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> if you remove me from this tree, then our sacrifice will have been in vain, and the jungle will once again be in mortal danger. Wow. Why you no say anything? Uh, I've tried, but no one believes me. Hmm. You promise you tell George truth? Absolutely not! I told you. But Coconut, you believe his ridiculous story? Evil gravy? That doesn't make any sense! This sloth is just lazy and doesn't want to move his lazy limbs somewhere else. So move his lazy limbs somewhere else pronto! <laughs> Me sorry, but Ape Council give big order to George and George must do what he told. No, don't! Oh, we'll be lost. Please, please believe me! Oh, no cry, Slothy Sloth. George believe you. <gasps> no. What'd I just say? You said... George, no. George say he believe you about gravy. And me do. But George's supposed to do what Ape Council say. George, have you done what the Ape Council said to do yet? Ape, uh, George have friend who must decide between believe crazy old Sloth and doing what Ape Council say. So, what George do? George, as long as I've known you, you've had a good heart. What's it telling you now? Slip them, slip them, slip them. Wow, we should really get that looked at ASAP. But for right now, you need to just follow it. Follow your heart and... George, believe, Sloth. Slip them. What? Did this sloth offer any proof of his ludicrous conjecture? Yes, he cry a little. Out of the way, Jungle King. That's an order. No. God. Me mean, no. Leave sloth alone. He holds back ancient evil gravy. And me believe him. And if George believes him, then so do I. You're both fired. If we're fired, then we don't have to listen to you any longer. Yeah! 
How about you listen to a psychic mind blast? Do it! Do it! Do it! Not care! Bah, he's too mindless for a mind blast. But that's why we brought rhinos. Good. Sorry, rhinos. Good. Be careful not to hurt you. Ah, jungle hamsters, attack! Ah, there. Good for both ape and hamsters. George, no move. So maybe we just shake hands and be friends again? Honey badgers, jerko lemmings, electric eels! <laughs> just give up already! Uh, you're going to ruin the ape counts hall for everyone! Hmm. <gasps> We're never going to get our spa built with Monkey Man in the way! <gasps> building a council hall? You're building a council spa! But why here? Because of the view, you dumbwit! You think I want to stare at some lemur's butt when I get my manicures? <laughs> Free Shiatsu if you don't turn on us! <laughs> Jungle King, you saved the entire jungle from a terrible evil. Ah, you're welcome. And you believed me. No one ever believed me before. Come here. Mmm, something smells meaty. Oh, poop. <laughs> George of the Jungle. As strong as he can be. But how strong is that? And how does he work? Let's take a look inside. Ah, his eye Georges keep a keen watch for trouble in the jungle. Oh, he's spotted something. Then sensitive ear Georges listen for advice from his mentor, Ape. George, save that monkey! To the brain George, who looks a little overworked right now. He's got a lot to deal with. The brain George makes a decision and ta-da! The king of the jungle gets it done. You might think the brain George is in charge, but you'd be wrong. The stomach is where it's at. It takes a lot of food to keep the king of the jungle jungling. <laughs> meat the best. George loves meat. You do eat an awful lot. Maybe you could cut back a little. Why? Meat never run out. It's magic. What? Meat isn't magic. Meat is... Animals! All meat? Meat Georgie? Burgers, steak, ham sandwich, double extra bacon pizza? No, 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 no! George thinks chicken burritos made by chicken, not with chicken! It's okay, George. It's not okay! George's supposed to protect animals, not eat animals! George? <gasps> what if George eat Tookie Tookie by mistake? Or Doggy Chef? Or you, Ape? Or <gasps> me? George, many other animals eat meat. It's the circle of life. George must make big sorry time to all animals. Sorry, birdie birds, about chicken noodle soup. Sorry, Jungle Cow, about juicy burgers. Sorry, Wild Piggy, about ham sandwich. Sorry, Wild Piggy Butt, about pig butt burritos. Sorry, Jungle Moose, about chocolate mousse. I really think you're making too much of this, George. Here, I made your favorite lunch. No, no! Go, little meat 
meatballs. Go, be free! George, no eat you ever again. You too, spaghetti. George, this is ridiculous. And pasta's not even a... From now on, no animals in mouth. George, only eat veggie tables. And make sure Jungle does too. Apple tastes way better than brown mouse. Cabbage plant instead of frog. See, Ursula? Onion tastes much better. While your quest is noble, my good friend, I fear it's doomed. No, George, not stop. Must teach Jungle to eat veggies, not food that alive. But George, vegetables are... Alive? How come you never tell George that, Banana? Tell Banana he owed George answer, Celery. Uh -oh. See, George, eating other plants and animals is a normal process in nature. We apes have been doing it ever since we arrived on this planet. I mean, ever since we evolved on this planet. Fine. Then George eats dirt. Dirt not animal. Dirt not alive. But even dirt is full of things that are living. Then George be a... Don't do it. Rocketarian. <laughs> Yum. Oh, so good. George, you can't just eat rocks. It's been weeks now. I'm taking you to the... Witch Doctor. Sometimes I just love saying my own name out loud. Uh, what seems to be the... Oh. He won't eat anything except rocks. And the jungle's going to heck without him. Hmm. 50 cc's of quit being an idiot and eat some real food should do the trick. George, not eat anything but rocks until conscience clear. George, if meat could talk, it would tell you that it's okay to eat it, as long as you treat it with respect. But meat can't talk, so... <gasps> meat seance! My afternoon's free. I'm gonna open a pretty gnarly hole to the netherworld, so make sure you don't disturb this circle. Why not? What part of Gnarly Hole to the Netherworld didn't you understand? Spirits of ham, spirits of lamb, spirits of sausage and chicken pot pie. Come forth through this portal so George can say hi. Holy bananas! Wow, I didn't expect it to work. Okay, big man, say your piece. George just wants say. Be very, very sorry for eating all you animal meats. Uh, unless you say is okay, George only eat rocks now. See? <laughs> yum, yum, yum. That's some angry meat, and it's out for revenge.
without caring who we were or where we came from. George, sorry, Big Steak. Without even knowing our names. That's not the part that hurts the most. Not being eaten? No. Everyone's got to eat. It's the not caring that really plucks my feathers. George, sorry. It's too late for sorry. Get back. I've got condiments and I'm not afraid to use them. He can't hurt you with those. We're ghosts. Yeah. Well, I don't believe in good. <laughs> <laughs> I can honestly say that I never prepared for this exact problem. Meat defeat George because George take meat for granted and not think about what he eat. George need to know his frenemy. Eight, put George in meat school. Teach about circle of life. Teach proper meat names. Teach about where meat come from, but really, really fast. Okay. George know all about meat now. Know where it come from and where it going. Eat me. Me really, really tasty and free-range organic, ethnically treated. I have good life, so it's okay and natural for you to eat me now. Circle of life. George, what have you done? George, clear conscience. Now me know what it's like to be meat, too. Oh, 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 only ghost can eat ghost. George? Goodbye, turkey. Hope you had good life in nice fields with grass and bugs, which is only kind of meat George eat from now on. Then eat me, you beautiful man. <laughs> you did it, George. You ate all the meat. That you previously ate. Yeah, man, that was <laughs> heavy. <laughs> now jungle's safe again, and George understand all about meat. We'll always remember your sacrifice, George. What sacrifice? Which doctor can just put George back in body now? Sure, if your body's still around. <laughs> uh. I could put you in something else, I suppose. Not so bad. George double patty with onions. Wait, why ain't look at George like that? Hey, hey, no! Daddy! Daddy! Huh. George, wake up! No one said being king of the jungle was easy, but George takes it to a whole other level. Hurry, 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 hurry! Luckily, George always bounces back. Ape, time for jungle aerobics? No, in fact, you'll never need to exercise again. Oh, why? Like you just asteroid is headed straight for the jungle. And? There is no and. We're doomed, doomed. Hmm, or me could save day. Yes, me do that instead. Me save day. It's an asteroid! No worry, everybody. George, catch Big Sky Rock with bare hands. George, you can't catch an asteroid. It's... it's all over. Hey, George got this. Yes, George always bounces back. That is until, spoiler alert, right now. We're alive! We're alive! Hey! George, are you okay? No! Phew. A 
That doesn't look too bad. That's a normal skeleton for comparison. This is George. Every bone is broken. His organs are mulch. Somehow there's a wasp nest in there. And I don't even know what all this stuff is. But thanks to my very expensive services, he's gonna be fine. Thank you, Doctor. Me feeling better already. No, what you're feeling is nothing. Because I had to remove your entire body. Ta-da! <laughs> don't be such big babies. I sent it out for repairs. It'll be back in a week. But what will George do until then? Same as everyone else. Use the loner. Yeah! Not so bad for a body made of wood. Um, George? Ah! Pretty hot! Pretty hot! Ah! <laughs> Sorry? Oh, I've got a couple more, but I'm keeping your deposit. Okay. Now, George, see what new body can do. Um, George. Ah! Termites hungry! Termites hungry! Mm. I'll get another. Okay. Now, George, see what new body can do. Um, George. This gets silly now. And I'm all out. But George can't just be ahead. Hmm. No. No, 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 no. Yes! <laughs> you great from up here. Uh, uh. Woo Me control arm! I don't like this. I don't like this very much at all. Nose or ear itchy ape? Sure as hell. Ouch! Stop! Stop it! That's good enough for me. I'll see you in a week. Come in. We save jungle together. High five! George! No! Maybe! You should let oh, me drive! Oh. Uh, no rocks to plug hole. Only one option. Wait, don't! <laughs> Big cats, work together instead! George! George, no field claws or teeth! Eat! Well, that was a whole half hour. Get him off me! Now! But Ape no like being close to best friend George? I do. You just have to take better care of your body, George. You're too reckless. George's not reckless. George extreme! And that's the problem I have that feels so weird. What now, soccer ball? More friends help! You know, at first I was like, no way. But it's been fun spending time with you, George. Aw, George happy you let him crash here. <laughs> no problem. What are friends... Wow! What are you doing? George, get you cool tattoo to remember time we spend together. Hit <laughs> picture of me, real big. You know like tattoos? Ah! This time, food go in Ursula's mouth. Not if George get there first. Ah! 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 Sorry, stop, please, stop. Ah! Ah! Higher, higher, wee! Turtle, turtle. Do loop, do loop, wee! Circle. Great news. Hi, Doctor. George's body back? Good as new. Finally. Let's get you back where you belong. What? Huh? Hey! Follow George body! Body, what's up for? Three. Hey, body. Why you run? I don't know if you understand how creepy this is. Buddy, put me on, okay? Fun chase over. Ow. That hurt. Bad news, George. Your body doesn't want you back. It says you don't respect it and you'll just break it again. He tell you that? He indicated as much using a clever mix of mime and middle fingers. Fine. Who need body anyway? You do, George. You really, really do. No. George Head needs no one. See you back at Treehouse Ape. Are you? George, sure. George, still Jungle King. 
Get across. Okay. Now, George, think you're missing on purpose. George never see jungle from up high. Looks so pretty. Make George want to focus on important things in life. <laughs> Jerk him And what do we have? in pain. George understand how hard he be on body. He take it for granted. No more. <laughs> I rock this body. You know who has two thumbs and feels like some lions? This guy! <laughs> Not in my weirdest dreams did I ever imagine. Must stop, Dr. Baby Big Buddy! <laughs> You're right! I'm totally jacked! And I never even went to the gym! Hey, that doctor! <laughs> Set body free! Um, that'll be a no! Yes! This is my house! Bro George Ape must save body in jungle! But it'll hurt! Bro George! Dr. Chicago! <laughs> Body, me sorry for treating you bad. Me no deserve such awesome muscles and six pack. Me wish you good future. Whoa, 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 whoa. Body miss George? George miss Body too! <laughs> me so happy to be back. And another bizarre nightmare comes to a happy end. Now we celebrate with rock eating contest. Ow! Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're probably thinking, wow, what a view. And check this little guy out. What a cutie. But don't be fooled. Mother Nature isn't just adorable animals and gorgeous scenery. She's also Jerko Lemmings. Chucking other animals off cliffs is a biological imperative for these furry jerks. As a result, Jerko Lemmings live action-packed, but spectacularly short lives. George never plays favorites, even though those jerkos really had it coming. 
It's okay. Maybe Rhino had soft landing on huge pile of animals. Uh-oh. Really? You're going to toss George off the cliff too? Well, what do you know? <laughs> okay, you welcome. No, 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 have to bow. Bye bye. George, go now. Excuse me. He's getting weird now. Hey, what big idea? Wow. George, what's that noise? Whoa! Uh, Abe, help! Jocko Libbings! <laughs> George likes carrying people through jungle at night, too, but please put George down. George, the hidden for heavy full cliffs. You know what that means? Holy bananas! <laughs> Who he? That's Wayne, the great furried one. He's the Jerko Lemming's supreme being. They worship him. Completely? Uh, George not know what to say. Feel awkward. George, I think you're their new god. Oh, George really blushing now. This can't go on. You have to tell them you're not divine, George. Ain't right. Toast bag. Oh. Okay, George, go to work now. Protect jungle and stuff. George appreciate breakfast, but better if you stay here. Also, George not God, okay? Okay, good. Ready? Oh, that's so cute. It's not cute, it's wrong. And the little twerps are always underfoot. See? That go badly. Now go even worse. Huh? Oh, thanks, Jerko Lemmings. Don't speak too soon. Help! Hey! George got you! <laughs> really? Get okay. George, no need help. <sighs> it's a long story. Only are their workplace hazard. They're eating us out of tree house and home. Not to mention they shed like a Sasquatch. <laughs> and they keep doing that. Bad jerko lemmings. No ape tossing. George, tell them to go, but they don't listen. I'm sorry, George, but it's them or me. Hey! Whoa! Jerkos, put ape down. Now! Whoa! George, mean gently. There, good. <laughs> bad, bad Jerkos, stop! Jerkos must stop following George, or George get angry. <laughs> See? Finally. <laughs> hey, George say he no want you here. Please never ever leave George. Oh. Beware the adulation of the masses, my friend. I have you. Mayday, guys! There's a throw down at the watering hole. Someone cracked someone else's butt with a towel, and now it's all crazy. Oh no. George, quickly! Just be right there. Oh. Fine. We'll handle it ourselves. By we, you don't mean me, do you? Because there's all this science I need to do, and wow! Such a baby.
be. If I cried every time I got gangrene, I'd be all out of tears. <sighs> Wake up, George. <laughs> oh, hey, ape. You're the jungle king, not the uh, massage king. Oh, you're right, ape. Whoa, George, do relax. I don't care. Go and do your job. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me go! Oh, this was not my intention, though you did capture my cheekbones quite nicely. Now, see here, this serial verification has. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> never stop doing this. Ape, you right. George shouldn't have. Hey! Oh, yeah, right there. Oh. Not fair! Why, you get massaged now! Because I'm the new supreme being. <gasps> Sorry, George, you'd have to bend over backwards to win them back. <laughs> <laughs> These Jerko lemmings are way too easy to impress. Excellent idea. Winner takes all. Massages, that is. I'm the great fur one, a.k.a. Wayne. Ray, 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 Ray. I refuse to believe a giant talking lemming just arrived via lightning bolt. Nope. Not gonna happen. Yeah, well, I refuse to believe in you, too. Wow! Ha! Science geeks always crack me up. So, you're the two idiots who stole my worshippers? Uh... <laughs> Have I mentioned I'm one of those old-school angry gods? Oh, oh, yeah! From the top row! Oh, oh, oh. There's only room for one Supremo being around here. This guy! <laughs> and in case I'm not clear, I summon the Great Cliff of No Return! I think you guys know what to do. George, sorry, Abe. He let fuzzy feet go to head and glutes and lats. Oh, remember. I too fell under the spell of a thousand fuzzy feet needing my troubles away. I'm sorry, George. Bye bye. See you later. Next time, get your own mindless fanatics. What? I mean, come on. You're not the brightest worshippers in the tool shed. Hey, I am Wayne the... <laughs> you jerks. Good thing in space nobody hear you scream. Hey, 
Uh, what's going? Oh. 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 What happened? Where George is? Someone's trapped us in a topiary labyrinth. Huh? A maze made of fancy bushes, George. A puzzle. But the real question is, who could have... We love puzzles. George, go first. Yay! Me find way. No, this way. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait. It's impossible. George's so scared. Nothing is impossible. But this is George's favorite loincloth. It's your only loincloth and our only hope. Now, come with me. See? Now we know we've been here before. <laughs> Tickle. <gasps> it's the Secret Ape Council, George. Cover yourself. Oh, no problem. Me need emergency loincloth. Where do you keep that? Ahem. <clears throat> You have passed the Sacred Ape Council Sacred Maze Test! Let me win! The test wasn't for you! It was for him! Me? But why? Ape, we'd like you to join the Sacred Ape Council! And that is what it looks like when our normally reserved ape has his mind blown. You see, it's always been Ape's dream to be on the council. Trick or treat! When I'm grown up, I'm gonna be on the Ape Council. They control the laws of nature. I accept. I accept. Wait, that is, unless George still needs me. <laughs> Ape dream come true. <gasps> me so happy. Yes, yes. Let the ceremony begin. But the Ape Council only invites new members when an old one passes on his ruin. Who am I replacing? Do you want the peel or not, Captain? Mind your own business. <laughs> and with the flipping of the sacred switch, the ceremony is complete. Welcome to the Ape Council, Ape. <laughs> Hello, hello, is this thing on? You'll get the hang of it. Now, we must go. It's two for one spicy eagle wing night, and we don't want to be late. See you tomorrow for your first day on the job. Wink, wink. George, I, I just want you to know that I'll miss you. Breathe, George. You don't have telepathic powers. <laughs> George Miss Ape 2. Lots and lots and lots. Who mentored George when Ape gone? George, you're a grown man now. You don't need a man. You'll find someone, George. Double Mochachino! How did you? We of the Ape Council know everything. It's our duty to ensure that the universe runs like clockwork. First, we make sure the sun rises on time. Done. Excellent. Let us have a mid-morning snack before we continue with our arduous tasks. Next, we make sure the grand waterfalls flow in the right direction. Another success for the all-important and impressive council. Let us break for an executive lunch. Don't the falls always flow in the right direction? Now, we must make sure the stars in the night sky are properly calibrated. And they are right. Uh, is this really all we do? George and I would have stopped that creepy bush baby from being creepy. Your enthusiasm shall be noted in the monthly newsletter, should you decide to start one. It's been a long day. Not really. But we still have one monumental task. We must check the seals on this cave. What's so important about it? Well, it's the, uh... The Danger Portal of Doom! Right, Total Doom! The Danger Portal of Total Doom? Sounds fishy. What's inside? 
Quit being nosy again. Seals look good. Another success for the all-important Sacred Ink Council. We are the best. Would you ladies like to join us for cocktail hour? Are you sure these seals are good? Is this just masking tape? George? George! George, wake up! Oh, hello, Abe. Hey, meet Gary. New mentor. We keep jungle safe. But that lion's about to eat that zebra. Look! Gary, what George do? Okay, Gary, if you say so. Hey, good plan, Abe. I'm sorry, George. I have to go and find a better mentor than that, Gary. Woe is us! The seal has failed! And he has escaped! Who's he? He is Cecil! He was a counselor like us until he went crazy bananas! By crazy bananas, he means Cecil got tired of how the council was just a bunch of lazy apes. He wanted to change things. First, for good. Like with the children's literacy campaign. So he tried again. And again, and again. But the selfishness of the Ape Council drove him mad. And then drove him evil. Before long, Cecil controlled the entire jungle. Sure, triple volcano fountain, animal explosions, blah, blah, blah. But when he set our hot tub on fire, we knew we had to act. We took his banana peel and sealed him in this portal forever. Fish. Uh, where does it go? Should we care? <laughs> and that is why you deserve to be destroyed. You may have taken my sacred banana peel, but I created something even more powerful. The pan-dimensional half-coconut helmet. Cecil, I demand that you get lost. And I demand that you feel an icy robe wind. So... Gold. Needy moss hug! Oh, my personal space! We have to do something! He's too powerful! We grow weak! Yes! Our power drains from our banana rooms! We're helpless! What? Mine feels fine! No! A growing too weak to stay awake! This can't be happening! Now you see them for what they are, ape. Lazy, no-good peel jockeys. Hmm. You think we should check it out? Okay, Nico. You pretty good mentor, Woody. You're not like them, ape. Join me, and we'll make the jungle a better place! <laughs> Let me show you what real power is. You mean like a mentor, which is someone you listen to? How I used to mentor George? Yeah, I know what a mentor is. Okay, I'd love to get closer and join you, but... <laughs> but what? Uh, but I need to get my nose clean first. What? Uh, show me your powers. Ah, you want to see what I can do? Okay, fine. How about this? But what if you wanted to sneak up on someone? Now choose! Are you with me or not? Well, off the top of my head. I think I'll take back my offer. His head! His head, George! Eat his helmet, George! Ah! What have you done? It took me all morning to carve that out! Our plan was a success! You show great willingness to do stuff, Counselor Ape. So I offer you my position 
as Top Banana of the Ape Council. Really? But I... Of course, I'd still be the official Top Banana, but you'll do all the Top Banana work. I thought being in the council was what I wanted, but I already had my dream job as your mentor, George, and your friend. <laughs> okay then, everyone else, hot tub at my place! Come on, George, let's go home. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs>